Hey guys, it's Rager Toner here, and welcome back to another MUVR tutorial video. So, I'm gonna teach you guys now how to get the UGC content, which I know everybody has been waiting for. So, first off, we're gonna, look, we're gonna need a certain program for this. So you wanna type melon loader. So just type up melon loader. Then you can go to the GitHub website. And then you're gonna download melon loader. Now I'm not gonna download it since I already have it. But yes, yeah, so this is the website right here. Uh, this will allow you. This will allow you to use user-generated content, which is what UGC stands for. So, after you've got it installed, you'll need two files, which I'm not going to put in the description because, again, I don't want to get in trouble. But um, so go to your MUVR folder. Uh, let's just, I'm just going to use this page here, so MVR, and then um, what you're going to do, you're going to put, you're going to make a folder called Melon Loader and put it in here. Oh, and I mean, more than likely, it will probably already have a file for Melon Loader, but yeah, you put that in here. Then you also need user data, Unity Player Dull, and version. You'll need those files, which will more likely come with it. Um, once you have those, put a, you put the you put the Unity player and the version in your in your uh, in your root file, and then put Mel Loader here. So then, to get UGC content, you're going to make a folder called UGC content uh, UGC. All caps or will not work. So UGC um, will give you all the custom stuff that you can have. As you can see, I have quite a few things in my uh, customs, customs. But how do you get a user-generated content? Well, in the MUVR category, uh, in the MUVR server, who the heck is this? Uh, okay, I probably shouldn't do that on screen, but hold on. All right, now I responded to that message, which I probably shouldn't have done that during a video because it's probably a terrible thing to do. Um, we are going to now. If the mass if a message pops up, I'm not gonna do it, but uh yeah. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get some UGC content. Because obviously you can't if you don't get UGC content, what kind of fun would that be? So basically just look for something you want, like let's say you want a banana. Or a pizza box. I'm not gonna get those, but say you want an aquarium. Well, I don't have enough space in my room to, to demonstrate that. Hold on. I could probably do this actually. All right. So say you want arcade machines. So right here, you'll go to the Discord. Oh, first of all, let me show you. Let me show you here. So in the Discord, uh, you of course you have the downloads announcements. You want to click on UGC UGC Share. And that will give you all the um, different content you can use in your MUVR game. So, say you want Kirby plushie. So you'll click on the, the that one. If it will load, that'd be great. Um, go click on go click on the download link. And then you're going to go to here. I mean, you want to go ahead and you can, you could also just save it in there to save yourself time, but you want to cut, go to, 
go to your UGC folder, which should be empty if you have if you just created it. Paste. Oh, also, I skipped one step. You're also going to want going to want to make a mods folder and put this thing in it. The W G the W I G U dull. Without this, you cannot run the melon loader. It will not let you. So yes, so you'll you do that. As I said, if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. But as I said, I'm no expert because I know that some people were having problems with the uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer. And I couldn't really answer those questions. But yeah, so make sure you create a folder called mods uh, before you do all that stuff that I just said, and put that UG and put that U I D a J uh, G the J, J dot English is hard. Um, put the WIGU folder in dull file in uh, the mods folder. So once you've done all those, then you can put your thing in. So for certain um, UGC contents, you will need to scan your, um, you will need to scan it into your uh, MUPR as a game. Um, so for example, the, body pillows uh i'm not going to be showing that but if you want to put those in you have to put those um you had to scan those in as a game and put them in and put it in labels but anyways no so once you have metal loader and all that uh you can go back to custom you put that utc content in and then you're gonna want to go ahead and open up your mvr And I'll be right back once it loads up. All right, that's so I returned. Okay, wow, what? This is laggy. I'm just gonna do this before I turn my lights on. <coughs> that's something you guys do not need to see, especially if there's miners watching. But yeah, so if you did everything right, you should see it. You should click. You should, you should press tab or whatever you're using. Start if you're using a controller, and two if you're using your VR controllers. But you'll click on that, and hopefully it actually loads. You're gonna load? Or are you just gonna be a piece of crap? Man, this has gotten so bad. All right, so it's gotten so laggy to the point where it like messes up everything. Alright, there we go. I'm getting like two frames per second. Okay, there we go. So if you did everything right, you should see a category called UGC props appear in your well also you should you should see this when you load up your um no when you load up your uh MEVR. But if you don't see that, then you didn't do it right. But there's also this is also a pretty good indication as well. So you just go scroll down, find your UGC prop, which for me is the Kirby plush. You can take that out. You'll just put take out like you take anything else out, and you can just set it wherever you want. Um, I'm just gonna put like I'll just put him up here because I'm not gonna. I'll just put him up here because I'm not gonna um actually uh I'm not actually gonna put him in there, but yeah. But yes, that is basically how you use UGC content. Um so I guess we're gonna do this now with another part. So another part of UGC content, you'll need to download something. Some of the UGC content will appear under systems like this is UGC content, user-generated content, the Game Boy Advance and all that stuff. The GameCube, that just comes, that comes with it. These cases are also um, that. So what we're going to do is I want to put, show you guys that we're going to go ahead and do boxes now as well. Might as well since I'm, I'm on this topic. So you scroll down, you can see all this UGC content I have. So that's also UGC content, yes, a table. And also that's UGC content. 
so we got the box so we do, so we're going to do n64 cartridge box so same thing applies to making boxes so let me go ahead and shut this down i'm gonna to have to do it manually then i'll have to then i'll have to i can turn it on manually again Ugh, i hate having to freaking go through all this but i mean it's the best way we, we, i can do it so there we go shut that down shut that down so we're gonna get box arts so i'm gonna get i already got some box arts so i'm just gonna do it this way uh you can find your, some boxes on a uh, website called the cover project so if you want to find box arts there you can go over there but we are going to do an ocarina of time cartridge box so we're going to go here and I'm pretty sure I still have to name this N64 gold I'm pretty sure so let's go ahead and copy that let's go ahead and cut this I'm, I was this is what I was doing before I started recording getting box arts for my games for N64 so let's go ahead and uh, So let's go ahead and save. Um, no. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And I want to go here. And you'll need to make. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need um, a box. You're going to need a thing for boxes. Um, you'll need to make a. So what you'll need to do for boxes, you'll need to make a boxes folder. So once you make a boxes folder, you have to make the system. So you have to make a new folder with the system name. System name. So we're going to do that. So let's go here. Let's go to new folder. And we're going to name this N. Well, no, you have to do, you have to be named exactly the same. The folder does. Nintendo. 64 and then i'm going to do parentheses because i have the gold characters gold so we're going to do that and then you're going to take you know, open that folder and paste the art art you want then what you're going to do is just like a cd cartridge you're going to have to have the exact same name as the disc just like a label so we're going to go to my, my games folder now so let's go to games uh we're going to go to n64 gold and then we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> we're going to get ocarina of time rename you want to i'm just going to do this because it's faster copy the name or you can type it manually whatever you want to do it's up to you and then we go into the nintendo 64 gold boxes art and then we're going to rename and paste. It has to be the exact same name. Now I'm going to open this up, and then we're going to have to. And then of course I'm going to have to pause again until it's done. So hold on a minute, and I will be right back. I'm back in here again. So now, uh, do box art. So now I'm going to show you how to get the box up to work. So we're going to pull out the box. And it's just going to be the standard box, of course. So it's not like going to, I mean, I don't know if it will work because it's. All right. So now I want to go to boxes. Down, down. Come on. Hang on, let's lag. That's the only problem with having like a lot of stuff in your room is all the lag that happens when you're trying to scroll through everything. But we have a lot of content looking stuff. So anyway, we're gonna use this as an example because I don't know if this will work. Because it's no, it's not. It looks like it's good. Right, this says Legends of Ocarina of Time, but it's not the right box art. So you're wondering, you must be wondering, how do I make this box work? 
Well, you're going to go grab the corresponding cartridge. So let's just go ahead and uh, go to Ocarina. Let's go ahead and go to N64 Gold. Ocarina of Time. Okay, well, I did that by accident. Ocarina of Time. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put it in this box. And then once you have put it in the box, hold on. As you see, once you put it in the box, the art will change. So you want to close the box. And as you see, we have a completely custom Ocarina of Time box. So that is how you make all of that work. And once you have registered the game, you can take the you can take when you, if you take the cartridge out, the game will still be in there. So you don't have to worry about anything really. And like I said, it has to be the ex your box art has to be the exact same name as the game. Otherwise, it will not work. So that is how. You do custom box art for, because that's how you get the custom boxes to work for, and that's also UGC content. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to help this channel grow, subscribe. It's free. And if you don't like this, like if you don't like my content, you can like that subscribe. Also, um, also uh, a lot of you are not subscribed, so make sure you check to see if you're not subscribed. Uh, if the buttons, if if the uh, subscribe button's white, then you, then you haven't subscribed. So if it is that color, go turn it, uh, turn. Uh, and you forgot, click on the, uh, click on, uh, click on it and make it gray. Let me make sure the bell icon can be notified when I upload videos. Anyways, this is Red Hundred. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.